This is the first video in a series on how to play football. And as you can probably already tell, we're talking about American football here. Sometimes it's called gridiron football and not um, association football or soccer. So if you know nothing about American football, uh, you're in the right place. So this is football. And so we're going to talk about, we're just going to start with the, the very basics in this video. And we're going to take a look at the field itself. What, the, what do all these uh, lines and markings mean and numbers uh, mean? So we're going to break it down and explain all that in this video. Um, so the first thing you'll, you'll notice is that there's all these little lines um, on the field. And so, so these are each three feet apart. And so each one is called a yard line because three feet, obviously one yard. And so from from this line here to this line here, this distance here is going to be a hundred yards. So this is a hundred yards. And so typically you'll hear uh, people say that the length of a football field is is a hundred yards. And so that's all this distance in here. You can kind of see um, in the middle here that that is divided in half by the 50 yard line and so so each of these numbers on the field um, represents the, the the number of, of yards and so it kind of it's, it's counting down it starts in the middle with the 50 and then 40 30 20 10 and then obviously the same thing on both sides you could probably tell by now that each side of the field um, is identical so that we start in the middle with the 50 um, and then the, the, the 40 yard line, the 30 yard line, 20 yard line, the 10 yard line, and what all this is counting down to is the two lines on um, both sides here. And these are called goal lines. So this line right here, this gray one, and then this gray one here, these are called goal lines. Well, each one is just one goal line. And so what the goal line does is it serves as the separation between the rest of the field and then these two unmarked areas on either side. And so these areas here, this one over here, and then everything inside here, these are called the end zones. The end zone. So then we have another end zone over here. And so the the distance of the the end zone. We saw this was the field itself was 100 yards. The end zone actually it's to this to the white line there. This distance here will be be 10 yards. 10 yards. And then the same thing on the other side. So we can see that the total distance is actually 120 yards with the 10 yard end zones on each side. Um, and then of course we have the width of the field. Um, so from this side line here, this, this line that goes up the side and then this line there, is, these are both called the, the side lines. And in football, these sidelines are, are out of bounds. So if you step on the, the sideline, you're considered out of bounds, which obviously same as in some sports, different in other sports. Football, the line is out of bounds. And so um, the two sidelines are 160 feet apart, 60 feet. And so that's, that's about 53 yards. And so they're about, uh, it's about, obviously the field is about half um, fit this in here. It's about half of the the width as it is along, or long as it is wide, whichever way you're looking at it. And so those are all the that's the ba the basic rundown of the football field and how it is is laid out. Um, one thing, one term you might hear. Um, it's really no, nothing uh, special as far as markings on the field or anything like that, but anything inside the 20 yard line. So from the 20 yard line to the, the goal line, and then of course the same thing on the other side is this area here. 
These are some kind. It's sometimes called the red zone, and that is basically just um, signaling that the 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 team, um, as we'll see, when you're when you have the ball and you're on offense, and your goal is to get the ball to the end zone. So that means the team would be going this way. So if the team has the ball inside the 20 yard line, we say they're in the red zone. It's basically just they're getting close. So of course their their chances of scoring are increased when they're that close. Uh, so maybe that'll make uh, more sense if you see a picture. So here's a photo of a typical um, NFL game being played. Um, the NFL is, stands for the National Football League. Uh, that's the highest level of play, um, at least in the United States. And so you can actually see in this picture um, this the team up top here, these guys, um, they are on offense and they're heading here down toward the, the end zone, which you can see is, is doesn't have the yard lines. Here's the, the yard lines and the 10 and the 20 and the 30. Um, so then the end zone is uh, kind of decorated and usually in whatever the home team's colors are. And then you can see the sidelines. Going down the sideline is the real thick one. So of course, uh, we said sideline is out of bounds, so they make them real thick, kind of easier to see because um, plays will often occur along that sideline. Um, so so the, the red team here that's heading toward the end zone is the offensive team. Um, and then this team back here is on on defense. And so they are, as we said, the, the 20-yard line is here. So they are inside, and they're actually inside the red zone um, in this photo. So that's basically how it's set up. Um, and then one last thing to point out and that those would be the field goal uprights uh, sometimes usually called the uprights um, I guess you wouldn't call it a field goal field goal is what happens when you kick the ball through it and so the, these uprights the uprights are at the um, end the, in the back of each end zone so they would actually be located uh, you can kind of see the little markings here they would be from here here to here so we'll get into to the point of these eventually the ball will be kicked through the uprights um, so if the ball does go between the uprights then that will will be um, mean points for the team who kicked it so that's the basic overview and layout of a football field and so in the next video we'll start getting into how, how does this whole game work. So, we'll see you then.